Go in. All right, let me close the door for privacy. Get some hand sanitizer. Hi, my name is Giselle. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can I have you confirm an name and date of birth for me? Uh, Henry Winston, May 6, 1954. All right. Um, do you have any allergies <laughs> to medications, materials that you know of? Uh, only pollen and cats. All right. Um, where are you right now? At the hospital. Okay, and who's president? Byron. Now, what brought you in today? I've been uh, experiencing shortness of breath and a okay. really wet cough. Um, I was looking at your vitals. Your blood pressure was really high as well as your respirations and your oxygen was really low. So I see we have you on nasal cannula. Um, I want to start off by asking, are you in any pain right now? Yeah, yeah. My chest feels a bit tight. Is there anything that makes it feel better or worse? Uh, just not coughing, uh, like a cup of hot tea. What does it feel like? It's kind of like stabbing, like tight. Okay, does it, is it just your chest or does it go anywhere else? Yeah, it's just my chest. Zero being no pain, ten being a lot of pain. Um, what would you rate it? All right now, it's like a three. And how is it at its worst? <clears throat> no, like a five. Okay, how long does the pain usually last? Uh, it stops once I uh, once the coughing gets less frequent. Okay, how is this affecting you? Can't be have active. Uh, I hate this cough. Do you know around when it started? Like two years ago, but it's never been this bad. Okay, how often do you cough? Uh, it's persistent. Some days are harder than others. Is it any special time of day? It's worse in the early morning. All right. And how would you describe your cough? It's wet. Okay. And cough up any sputum? Yeah, it's like thick. Okay. What color is it? It's uh, fish white, kind of yellow. Okay. Um, as for your shortness of breath, how long does it usually last? Uh, it's just a couple hours. To be honest, I feel a bit winded. Okay. Okay. Um, is there <clears throat> anything that you notice that makes it worse? Uh, trying to stay active, it makes it is really bad. Have you had any surgeries or hospitalizations? Uh, no. Um, have you been diagnosed with any serious or chronic illnesses? Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Any past history of breathing issues or lung diseases? I smoked. Uh, I smoke slightly or well often. Okay. Okay. Um, any childhood illnesses? Not that I remember. And any accidents or injuries? Um, I was. Painter, when I was younger, I fell off my ladder and I ended up breaking up my arm. Okay, do you have any unusual or yeah. colds? Uh, occasional cold, but it's severe. Okay, any swelling of your legs or feet? Mm -mm, no. Okay, do you have a family history of any respiratory conditions or like lung cancer? Uh, my grandma had asthma. Okay, do you normally receive a flu shot? Yeah. What about your pneumococcal vaccine? Uh, not sure. Tdap vaccine? Not sure either. All right, are you currently on any medications? I'm um, not fan medications, I'm like a naturalist. As for the smoking, when did you start? Uh, around 17. Okay, how many packs per day? Uh, it's about like one. Have you tried to quit before? Uh, yeah, when I married, uh, when I first married my wife. Okay. Besides smoking, do you have any other habits? I drink like two coffees a day. Do you drink alcohol or do you do drugs? Nah. Are you sexually active? Not since my wife died. Alright, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you have a good support system at home? Uh, yeah, I live alone, but I got two kids. Uh, when was your last physical? I can't recall. It's been, like, years. Okay, do you stay active? Uh, I usually go for daily walks around the neighborhood, but ever since the coughing, it's been hard. Okay, would you say that um, yeah. your activities of daily living are made harder with your condition? Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's hop into a functional assessment of your respiratory system and a little bit of your cardiovascular system. Does that sound good? Do you have any questions, concerns? Uh, yeah, sounds good. Okay, let's yeah. do it. Get this bed at a more comfortable level. Um, is it okay if I expose your chest? I'm going to start with inspection. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm just going to look at general respiratory effort. I am seeing some accessory muscle use and some chest breathing. General chest configuration and size. I am seeing a slight um, barrel chest. Um, all right, let's see those fingernails now. I'm just going to be looking for a clubbing, cyanosis, and pallor, capillary refill. Capillary refill is normal, but I am seeing some cyanosis around the nail beds. Looking at generalized skin color, I am seeing a slight blue tint. I'm just gonna have you lean forward just a little bit. Okay. All right, you're gonna feel my hands on your lower back. I'm just gonna check for symmetrical chest expansion. Um, go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. All right, that was slightly decreased. Um, I'm just gonna palpate. If you feel any tenderness or pain, let me know, okay? Okay. All right, is there any, any pain with that? No. Okay, I'm not feeling any yeah. masses or lesions. It's Temperature is even bilaterally and 
there is no excessive moisture. Um, now when you feel my hands move, I want you to say 99, okay? Yeah. 99. 99. 99. 99. All right, yeah. that was slightly decreased. Um, now I'm just going to palpate for crepitus. Okay, I am feeling slight crackles. Let's go ahead and lay back down a little. Um, so now you're going to feel my hands. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. All right, slightly decrease in the front as well. Um, I'm going to palpate again for any tenderness, okay? Let me know. Is there anything with that? Okay, I'm not feeling any masses, lesions, or um, anything abnormal. Uh, the temperature is um, even bilaterally. No excess moisture. 99. 99. Okay, that was slightly decreased. Um, I'm now going to palpate for crepitus. All right, I am feeling slight crackles with that. I'm going to do some percussion and check tone, okay? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and percuss. Go ahead and breathe normally for me. Okay, I'm some slight hyper resonance. I'm just go ahead and do the back. back down okay i am hearing some hyper resonance in the posterior side as well so now we're going to take out the stethoscope and we can hear what's going on okay and you feel my stethoscope move i'm going to help you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and wheezes on auscultation and there are some decreased breath sounds so when you feel it move you're going to say 99 okay i'm gonna have you lean forward just a little bit all right 99 99 i'm going to have you um say e okay okay all right e you whisper one, two, three, okay? One, two, three. Besides the chest tightness and dyspnea, do you have a history or a family history of congestive heart failure? Um, no. So I'm just going to listen to your heart real quick if that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. S1 and S2 are present and I'm not hearing any extra sounds. Um, it's okay if I didn't cover your legs. I'm just going to check for edema on your uh, legs, ankles, and feet, all right? Okay. I'm not seeing any edema present. I'm going to cover you back up. All right. But anyway, that concludes our focus assessment. Do you have any questions or concerns for me? No, not really. All right, so before I go, I just wanted to talk to you about the smoking and just touch base on you um, about possibly quitting. Is that something you'd be open to talking about? Yeah, I've been thinking about it recently, yeah. Okay, so I know that you um, quit smoking once. Uh, yeah, I restarted because um, it felt therapeutic for me. Okay, yeah, that's uh, totally normal. A lot of patients um, feel that way. Um, unfortunately, smoking does put us at risk for a lot of illnesses, especially respiratory illnesses. It can be especially harmful to our respiratory system in terms of our airways and then, um, you know, pockets in the actual like, air sacs in the lungs. Um, if you are interested, I can get you in contact with some programs and bring you some pamphlets to um, try and see how we can get you to quit and make that an easy journey for you. You know, it's not an easy journey, but it is acquirable. Uh, yeah, I'd uh, love to. I'd Okay. I just want to live long enough to see my grandkids. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'll let the doctor know that I finished my assessment and I'll go find you those pamphlets. Is there anything I can get you before I go? Oh, all good. All right, so here's your call light. I'm going to return the bed to a safe level and I'm going to go do some hand hygiene and get your doctor, okay? Yeah. All right. First nursing diagnosis is ineffective airway clearance related to increased production of sputum as evidenced by dyspnea and adventitious breath sounds. My second nursing diagnosis is activity intolerance related to imbalance between oxygen supply and demand as evidenced by the inability to perform ADLs without dyspnea and fatigue. My third nursing diagnosis is ineffective breathing pattern related to retained secretions as evidenced by dyspnea and wheezes and crackles on auscultation.